And Dana Turtle is reliving his former days as a lifeguard. Yeah, how about that? He saves our lives every day with the forecast. But then now, this morning, he's live at Dodge Pool in Franklinton, getting some life-saving tips from a pro. Dana, I had no idea you were a yeah. lifeguard. I was. I was a lifeguard right before I went to college. It was the summer of 1998, wow. which would have been 15 years ago, if you do the math. All right, this is George. Hey, George, how you doing? Good morning. Very good. All right, and then this is Jeremy. He is going to be uh, the guy that's going to be drowning, even though, good morning, Jeremy. We all know you know how to swim. <laughs> okay, so you jump in the water, and I want you to know at home, by the way, it's a little cool out here this morning, but the water's at 80 degrees. I think you're going to be okay, right? Let's hope so. Okay, so you get in the water then, Jeremy. Now, George, we've got a couple options to rescue Jeremy. So the point being, everyone, if you're at a pool, like we are, and you see someone who's struggling in the water, there's different sorts of things you can use to rescue them. Yeah, this is all standard right? issue equipment. This is required by the state. Every pool has to have a uh, shepherd's crook on a 12-foot pole. So this is called boy. a shepherd's crook. This is a shepherd's crook. Okay, so let's just say we're at a community pool and there's no lifeguard, and there should be one of these available, right? Absolutely, so absolutely. what exactly do I do? I just pull them in? Yeah, I mean, you basically ready? you want to reach ready? out to him, uh, reach it out to him. Keep your weight back just in case he tries to pull you in. Oh, you're heavy in the water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I saved you. Thank you. Okay, thank now, you. now you got to go back out there again, Jeremy. We've got to do another one of these. So the shepherd's crook, I like this. Excellent. I'll let you hold that. All okay. Right. Now, yeah, what's this buoy. is a... Uh, this is a ring buoy. A ring buoy. Yep. You're going to try and throw it past him. You yes. actually, there's a loop to keep, so that way you don't throw all your rope. I did actually, I did pass the lifeguarding course. There you go. Back you got in the day. it. Okay. Are you Ta ready? Try and toss it past him. Watch not your head. On his head. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Reach or throw, don't go. That's what we say. See, I was a good lifeguard back in the day. Very good, Dana. There you Very go. Good. Thank okay, you. what what are we gonna do in our next kid? Are we gonna are we gonna do something else really cool with him in the water? Is he gonna drown again? Or? Sure. Okay, so we're gonna try some more safety techniques coming up in a few minutes. Pete cool. And Carolyn, we'll hey send Dana. It back to you for now. Big. Yes. I, I wanted to ask you though, were you a lifeguard? Yeah, I was. Oh, okay. Is that a joke? <laughs> Is that a joke? No. I taught. I taught swimming lessons too the you, same summer. I really did. You did. You hey, did yeah. a very good job. Yeah. You know, I live. I live at the pool. You know that. Yes, you Dana do. Dana and the pool are like best friends.